I'm looking at what was once the bustling port in Sendai, it is easy to see why the official death toll, currently 1,833, is expected to rise rapidly. Now, if containers like this, of this size, could withstand the force of Friday's tsunami, there is little hope for any people exposed to the wave. Footage of the moment the deluge arrived has lost none of its impact. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you can actually see residents. They are fleeing on foot from the torrent that is devouring their homes. And any force powerful enough to carry a bus onto the roof of a house, as you see right here, ensures that rescue and recovery teams, they face a long a difficult task ahead. And now there is another threat. The one nuclear plant in Fukushima. Three reactors have lost their cooling capabilities. Radiation fears remain. Now, new problems at a nuclear plant in Fukushima are making people very nervous. Now, fresh smoke filled the air earlier today, on Monday, after a hydrogen explosion. Now, it blew the roof and walls off the building that contains the facility's number three reactor. The blast injured six people. A similar explosion happened Saturday at reactor number one. And let's take a closer look at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. It has in total six reactors. Now, three of them have now lost their cooling capabilities. Our workers have already been pouring seawater into reactors one and three. And officials say that they were also now injecting seawater into reactor number two. That is the latest one in trouble. Authorities have tested more than 150 people for radiation exposure, and homes within a 20-kilometer radius of the plant have been evacuated. Now, that is more than 200,000 people. It may seem too strong, but there is probably no better way to describe this. Now, this was the town of Anami San Rico. It was home to some 18,000 people. It has now effectively been erased. Half its population has reportedly disappeared the town quite literally torn apart. Now the tsunami wasn't the only destructive force at play here. The preceding earthquake also did its fair share of damage. Just take a look. Local people are The asphalt of the road just opening before your eyes there. Now that footage, it was shot by a TV crew caught up in Friday's chaos. 